All right, more travel woes for airline passengers. Already today, more than 3,300 flights have been delayed. Nearly 900 have been canceled in and out of the U.S. There are storms right now in the East Coast and in the Midwest. That's partly to blame, along with failing technology. And that is something that's frustrating, right? The FAA briefly pausing operations at airports in D.C because of a problem with the communication system at major air traffic control facilities. Travel is expected it to increase ahead of the 4th of July holiday. The TSA already expecting to screen nearly 3 million people on Friday, the day it calls peak travel. Joining me now, Director of Content at the Point Sky, Eric Rosen. Eric, I mean, oh, way, right? Um, I'm driving to my <laughs> destination. I'm glad when I see some of those numbers. So let's start with United first, uh, because according to flightaware.com, United had the most cancellations every day since Sunday, including today, most delays except for today. Um, the CEO partly blaming FAA staffing shortages and lower experience uh, for the week's problems. Is that fair? I mean, what's happening here? Uh, CEO Scott Kirby of United uh, is blaming the FAA for uh, worker shortages and lack of training. He's essentially saying the FAA is closing airspace when it's not strictly necessary so that they really brought a ground stop to Newark and uh, delayed or ca uh, caused cancellations for a bunch of flights that might not have been necessary. Now, that's an airline CEO's point of view. Uh, for his part, Kirby was getting attacked a little bit by some of the unions and workers at United saying that the airline hasn't properly staffed up its operations as well to handle this huge influx of traffic. Uh, the good news is, despite all those cancellations and delays, we haven't seen an enormous cascading effect throughout networks just yet. Um, I would just say consumers and passengers this weekend in particular really need to watch their flight schedules, keep on track of their plans, and make sure things don't start going haywire. If they do, they need to put some problem solving into action immediately. Right. I mean, trying to get on another flight. Now, weather we understand, right? We've seen the tornadoes. We've got severe weather across the Midwest in the Northeast. But what's the deal with this communication issue? How widespread is it? Communication in terms of the airline not communicating with right. passengers. Right. So they're saying with communication the system with air traffic control. Uh, it seems like they're having some issues right now, especially with all of the, the problems. You know, there have been storms up and down the East Coast in other parts of the country. Now we're seeing wildfire smoke uh, hitting the middle of the country. And it seems like the FAA staff is really stretched thin. So it's having a hard time directing all of that air traffic that airlines have ramped up for this holiday weekend in particular. Keep in mind also, it's not as easy as just switching flights or holding a flight and then having it, uh, you know, go to an airport later and then connecting passengers. You know, one flight can lead to two flights, can lead to three flights. So you get bottlenecks at some of the major airports, including Newark, but also here JFK and uh, LaGuardia in New York. Uh, Chicago saw some major delays over the weekend as well. So the problems just keep compounding. And can the airlines do anything right now in the interim to prepare for, you know, what next week brings with all these um, delays and cancellations kind of piling up on one another? I think there a couple things that airlines can do. The first are some customer facing things, which is being honest and being very quick to let people know when their plans might be in trouble. Uh, they can update their tracking quicker probably than they have in the past to let folks know if their flights are delayed or not. I just want to point out that even though something says your flight is delayed, like the airlines app or some notification that you get, you're likely still responsible for showing up on time in case whatever issue it is, is resolved. If it's a ground stop for weather, you can bet as soon as that lightning clears up or whatever it happens to be, the airline will get its planes in the air as quickly as possible and you don't want to inadvertently miss a flight. Mm, no, that's a headache. You know, I usually pack my pa patience, Eric, but it got lost in transit the last time I traveled. So I'm out of patience now. I can imagine. Out. Well, here's what I suggest packing <laughs> instead. Make sure you have your airlines app for sure. Will do. I would also your frequent flyer number into it because airlines have been sending vouchers for uh, lodging and uh, meals and stuff for delays automatically to people so you don't have to stand in those lines. Yeah. Um, and also pack some extras too in case you do get delayed. A good travel credit card is really great as well because some Got have it. trip delay insurance. Anyway, but check the pointsky.com. We'll have the latest news this weekend. We'll keep you up to date on everything that's going on. You guys have us covered. Eric, hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.